guys welcome to another vlog my name is venus for those who don't know and are new to this channel make sure you like comment and subscribe and for those who are coming back welcome back um yes it is sunday morning and i have a small well kind of medium size to four haul i wanted to do with you guys because i just picked up a couple of things last weekend and then this weekend I went to Sephora again to get some serums and so um I wanted I want to be able to use this stuff but I wanted to um wait until I show y'all everything some of the stuff I already used um so you know but you know this the feeling is still the same so anyway the last weekend I went to Sephora and I got a couple of things I've been wanting, but I, because I haven't been going to the store, um, cause it, Atlanta, if you are in the Atlanta area, even though COVID-19 is alive and well, we just have not, you know, we have not gotten it together. So people are still outside. So I try not to, you know, go to the mall and things like that, but you know, I really wanted to go to Sephora to pick up a couple of things. And so I was just like, you know what? We're going to try to go during non-peak hours. We're going to try to make this happen. So anyway, I went there and I've been wanting to uh, try the replica by Masson. I think that's how you say Masson. Margiela. <laughs> um, and if y'all don't know that he has this whole line um, called Replica. And it's supposed to be like scents from like time, like moments in time and like places so i got this gift set or not gift set but it's like a like a travel set i would say um and i and to be honest with you i have so my go-to fragrance is by bond number no. nine i love bond number no. nine fragrances they are a little bit pricey and but you get a lot and they last for years we all know though that over time scents start to kind of um, lose their qualities in terms of scents and things like that so it doesn't smell like it usually would when you first get it and so because of that like with the bomb ones I'm like okay we spending like 300 plus per bottle and I'm like literally just from a bottle that Alfred and I both share we just um we we just like literally we're at the we have a little bit left and we got that fragrance honestly probably like five or six years ago so i and i wear i wear perfume all the time but sometimes i like to like switch it up so i'm not using the same scent um every day so i was just like all right well let's try because these replica the reason i'm telling you all the whole backstory is because these replica bottles are pretty big and i was like i'm probably not gonna go through them plus i wanted to try more to figure out what scent i really wanted um and so if I like it, if I like one of these fragrances enough, which I've tried all of them and honestly, all of them are bombs, bond. So as bomb, bomb. So as long as they keep this kind of kit, I'll probably, to be honest, I'm going to re-up with this because I like this. It's great for traveling when we do travel and you get enough. As you can see, you get enough in here to feel like you're doing something, you know what I mean? And then you can always re-up. This kit, I think, was like $68 for three different fragrances. I got Jazz Club, Whispers, and The Library by The Fireplace, and they are the perfect fall and winter scent. I would recommend this if you like more kind of... These are unisex for the most part. I think all of them are unisex. Um, but if you like kind of more warm scents, this would be the kit for you. They have another one that's a little bit more floral and fresh, which is still good if you if you kind of are attracted to scents like this, but it's definitely more floral and fresh. So the other thing that I got, this is from, this is not what I got, y'all. I just threw that in it because I was doing my makeup. Oh, I'm gonna clear this thing out. Hold on, what did I get? Oh, that's all I got, okay. So then I got this, I already took it out, but I got this fancy uh, gloss bomb and it, it's in a, a color fussy. And let me see, if you follow me on Instagram, you saw it already. It's like the perfect gloss for every day. If you're looking for like gloss to, you know, make your, your lips look healthy. Y'all know I, I came on here a couple of times with the dry 
lips. So I was like, you know what? Let me let me go ahead and hook myself up. You know, um, then I got a couple of freebies from the lady there because like Alfred and I love to run our mouths when we go places. And so we was making her laugh or whatever. So she threw some stuff in there and then she got me some um, bum bum cream for my birthday. Uh, even though my birthday was back in June, she hooked your girl up and gave Alfred a bum bum cream too. Which that bum bum cream, if y'all haven't tried it, it smells so good. Um, but I was like $30 for some lotion. I don't know, but it's so tempting to, to do it. But I was like $30 at the end of the day is still some lotion. You know what I mean? Anyway, <laughs> yesterday I went to Sephora again, got a bigger bag this time because I got a couple more extra stuff. I wanted to get a serum. I haven't been on my serum game for probably the last year and a half. And I was like, girl, your skin not getting no younger. Go ahead and get you some serums to get your stuff together. So I went to Sephora and um, the lady there recommended, what was it called by Sunday Riley, this serum combo. And um, so I got Good Jeans and then Luna, which is a, a nighttime one and then also uh oh okay i'm reading the back of it sorry y'all and then good jeans which is um one that you can use in the daytime so um i haven't opened it up yet to see what it looks like but if y'all have tried this let me know what you think um her skin looked really good um and she loved it so i was like okay well if she likes it then like i mean i guess i would like it too i don't know anyway she said this was like a six month supply of each so it's like okay let's go um and let's just give it a try so it's supposed to exfoliate smooth and um help you have a natural glow she does not she told me she didn't recommend like you know the exfoliating creams and things like that um she believes in kind of exfoliant exfoliating from the inside yeah the inside out so that's what she said this would do so i was like okay let's see what it do because before that i was using um murad's vitamin C serum and I love that serum so anyway trying that one with the good jeans serum she because you're using that in a day she said that you have to use a sunscreen and to be honest I need needed a sunscreen so I was just like okay well you know hook me up with a sunscreen and she recommended this kit to try super goop and basically it comes with a play everyday sunscreen lotion and then unseen sunscreen and then a defense refresh spray so she said that one of them i think it's the um the unseen sunscreen it's like a uh what do you call it a primer as well so when she tried it on my hand i was like that's dope I, I want that and then the other one is just really good they're spf 50 um and 40 and so she just said that that was the best to put if I'm using this, the uh, the Good Jeans Serum. So I needed a, a sunscreen on top of that, or I would just have to use that at night. Um, so I'm just like, well, just give me a sunscreen because I need one anyway. I'm living in Atlanta. It's typically sunny all the time, or we have like these overcast day days that's still bright. So I, yo, your girl was out here reckless without a sunscreen anyway. So yeah, um, that sunscreen is important, y'all. Even though I wasn't the main one practicing good sunscreen, whatever, um, it's really good because um, you know, for anti aging and things like that, you want to have a good sunscreen. Um, then. I don't know why this is in this bag because it's not from Sephora, but we've been working out. I'm going to show y'all our home gym. We we just made a home gym. And so I'm going to show y'all that later on today probably. But um, I needed something for my, my shoes like because I was getting blisters from running. So um, I think, I don't know, we got this from Dick's. So that's why because it was over in the same area that we was at and I just dropped it. Anyway, then I got... Yeah, she she gave me this for free, which is also by Sunday Riley, which is uh, what is this called? It's a water cream. And she said that this was good to put on top of my serums, but she wanted me to try it. So that's that. And then I got, you know how you at Sephora, they have that like the trial size out. I love trial size stuff because like, I feel like I just get the most bang for my buck because I'm using all of it before it's, before it expires. So, um, 
I've been wanting to try Youth to the People cleansers and moisturizers and whatnot. So I saw this and I was like, okay, let's try it. So, and y'all, it's, don't get it twisted. It's a pretty big bottle, especially if you do like me and you, you, you go between two different cleansers. So yeah, look how big that bottle is. That'll last me for at least, shit, maybe that'll last me for a couple months for sure. I only got this for 10 bucks. So that's the cleanser. And then I, the reason why I went to Sephora was to take the moisturizer I got last week back because, or the, um, tinted moisturizer from Laura Mercier back because the lady had gave me kind of the wrong color. It was like too, too, too pale. And so I, I actually went back to my old videos from like back in 2012 girl. And um, I was like, let me see. Cause I used to use this a lot back then. And so I was like, let me see what I, what color I got. And I got tan and I was like, yeah, this was originally the color I got. But she convinced me that I was tawny. And if y'all seen tawny, I have way more melanin. Okay. My hands are lighter as you can see. And so she was trying to match me up by my hands, but I was like, good sis. Like if you look at even my neck compared to my neck and my face, like girl, I'm definitely not tawny, but anyway, I went back and got the right one. So that's that for Sephora. Um, then I went to Target and picked up some like goodies uh because i needed to re-up on some things like i needed a good moisturizer now i will say for me i don't necessarily get um jazzy with my with my moisturizers because i just feel like there's no purpose like you know that's where you put your money in your serums for me anyway or your cleansers um, so anyway, I got this moisturizer from e.l.f. I think it was only 10 bucks, but, um, e.l.f. Uh, skincare products, when I used to work with them when I was vlogging, like, it was pretty good. Like, I got a ton, still got a ton of their products. I think I showed y'all in a, in a vlog, like, a couple of vlogs back, all the stuff that I got from e.l.f. But, um, now yeah, this is what it looks like. Cute, 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 cute packaging, um, which I really appreciate, um, good packaging, good branding, so... Um, that's that from Target. Then I had to re-up on my Ali probiotic and prebiotic vitamins. I feel like this is doing me some justice, so I had to re-up on that. I always rotate my, um, what do you call this, body washes. And so I needed another one because I'm running out of one. And so I got this. I've been loving Olay's uh, body washes lately so they had this one it was new at least for me it has shea and lavender oil if you know me you know i love lavender so i got that then while i was over at elf i saw this brow um what do you call it brow fiber gel and so i wanted to do this because sometimes i don't feel like carving out my my eyebrows y'all but i still want them to look done so especially for like zoom calls and whatnot something quick where I can wake up, do my mascara, throw this on my brows, and put on my Fenty Fussy Lip Gloss and call it a day. And maybe do, do, do the Laura Mercier stuff, call it a day. Um, I also got this lip kit. I have one already by, let me see if I can pull it out, by Yes to Carrots, but I have not used it yet. Oh yeah, here, this is it. No, this is, I need to use my stuff. So I got this yesterday. Then I have this one. I got this like a couple, like months ago, y'all. I need to use my mask. I have a several masks. They gonna be old. Let me see. Oh no, it expired, y'all. Look, see, when I would, this is kind of on a. So I probably got this in like 2018 or something like that. And when I like when I was an influencer, I guess. I was like getting so many things that even when I bought stuff, I would just, um, oh no, I'm gonna still use it, child. See what it do. It just say Best Buy. But I need to look at my, my stuff because I got, look, when does this expire? When does it? Single use mask. 
one but i have got another one that's like an exfoliating one this one is a plumper and smooth and hydrate because i figured winter time need to take care of that then i needed some hooks for um what did i get these for for our lunch bags because we're not using them so in our pantry little pantry closet i was like let me get these hooks to kind of cle start clearing that up and then i got this flamingo wax kit <laughs> um girl i don't know what why i got it but i've been i walked past it and i got the one for your face the wax kit for your face i have not used it yet but um i was just like you know you know to just do maintenance okay um let's just see what it does because you know you gotta tidy up your area um and i was like i could probably i could probably do this i could probably do this so that's why i got this plus girl i don't know like i said i i have the one for your face and i have not used that yet but um we'll probably use that in the next couple of days to um get things situated but anyway i just wanted to come and show y'all <sighs> all the things i've been getting um also at target the other day i got these pins these gel pins a new agenda for 2021 which i'm so excited to use y'all know i'm a sucker for like great agendas and like plotting my days so maybe i can do a video on that but got this for 2021 so we can start getting ready and then i got this um uh, legal pad folder um so that i can start putting my stuff and writing my notes um because 2021 y'all 2020 was great despite all the other kind of crazy stuff in terms of for business um it was great but um 2021 make some things shake but anyway uh, i also got a poster board because uh either today or tomorrow I want to actually um, map out because I don't have a big enough uh, dry erase board. And plus, I, I didn't want to buy one for here um, in my office because I'm going to redo some things in here to get it more film ready for some of the things I want to do on a regular basis come 2021 for content. Um, so I didn't want to do a dry erase board because it would have messed it up. But um, I got the the poster board so that we can map out some of the things that were successful in 2020 the milestones that we hit with blank wardrobe um during 2020 and then in 2021 what are some of the goals for each quarter so like break it down in quarters um you know figure out what the goals are and you know really 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 do this thing so anyway <sighs> i'm about to get ready to build an email for the new release that should have actually went out like two three days ago but to be honest with you guys i needed to kind of take a break i was tired um so anyway um i guess i could kind of show you that but i don't know this morning we went to starbucks and i usually get um this is a trenta because i knew today was like you can't even fit in a whole screen y'all that's kind of crazy because i knew today was going to be kind of nuts um yesterday i got a trenta today i'm getting a trenta but i get an iced coffee light cream four pumps of uh classic anyway let's do this thing let's build this email and then I, i'm shopping for blank today we're gonna do a shoot today because i need to shoot some of the the leggings that we got in um so y'all can buy them <laughs> They've been sitting in the box and then uh i think that's gonna be it y'all that's all we doing today get this house together alfred already doing some things with the house no oh, champ mailchimp i know a lot of people don't particularly like mailchimp but i rock with mailchimp because i that was the first one that i used when i was starting to build emails and so um yeah it's easy to use so I don't really see a reason in, in changing it, sis, you know, because it works. But uh yeah, let's 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 build let's build this email real quick. Oh, I didn't I didn't show y'all my new Apple Watch. So I got an Apple Watch finally. I caved. 
Um, y'all didn't let me know how dope the Apple Watch was. And I feel a certain type of way about it because, you know, nobody told me I was going to love it as much as I do. But I absolutely love the Apple Watch. It's the Series 6, I think. The newest one that came out. I'm going to get a nicer band, but for right now, this works because primarily I'm using it to work out. And, um, but I'm going to get a, I want to get the mesh band to go with it. Uh, maybe in gold, maybe gold and silver to switch it up. But yeah. So anyway, let's build this email.
All right, y'all, we just got done shooting. <clears throat> this is a new release that I was telling y'all about. It's a jacket that we are going to be putting on the site next week. Um, this turtleneck is an OG in the shop, and I have on our uh, faux leather leggings and just some kind of slide booties that um, I paired together for this just like easy chic look, y'all. Um, but yeah, so we just got done shooting. We just got one more thing to shoot, but we probably either do that later on tonight or tomorrow. But definitely wanted to get this up on the site because it's a jacket. So, you know, by the time you get into January, people are going to start transitioning. This can go into spring, but people start to transition buying things specifically for um, like the fall and winter starting in January. So definitely want to get this up in the last couple of weeks. Makes a great Christmas gifts. If y'all want to shop, hit that link in the description box. Go to blankwardrobe.com. I'll put it somewhere on the screen as well um, and shop for your loved ones. Anyway. We're about to get ready to head back to the house. And then we need to cook and actually come back and go to Publix to pick up some items. And what else, Alfred? What, what we got to do? Here you go, y'all boy. Y'all ain't seen him all day throughout the vlog. He looking he looking all right. Why you got to put me on spot? Look, then, can you talk, sir? No, I got to I gotta clear it up. I don't um, know what we going today. Um, I don't know what we doing. I think we just need to get a couple things. Yeah. from um the grocery store but that's about it i think he a little bit on edge y'all because he got all this camera equipment but um anyway know that when y'all do see us we we very aware so it ain't no sneaking up on us anyway my battery about to die i'll holler at y'all in the next clip So I decided that I'm going to do a what's in my purse, what's in my bag, because I need to um, change it or, or uh, what do you call it? What do you call it? Um, switch my purses over. Um, so I was just like, while I'm cleaning it out, I was going to do like a for real content video of this, but... Then I was like, you know what? Let's just keep with the spirit of Vlogmas, even though I'm not participating in Vlogmas this year, maybe next year, girl. Um, I was like, you know what? Let me let me just do it vlog style and, and we'll just do it that way. So um, let me see, I guess, do I wanna do it in here or do we wanna do it in my office? Where y'all wanna go? Office or in my bedroom this might be cool let's 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 switch up the location plus the light in here is really good right now so don't let's see i am wearing like i wear this sweatsuit like all the time as you can see like i wear this thing all the time like all the time like this Let's see if I can back y'all up. Okay. Or should we sit on the floor? Do y'all want to sit on the floor and do it? Let me see. Let's see what this looks like. Because this might be better. Y'all probably like, girl, you always sitting on the floor. Yeah, this, I think this is better. Let's do it. Let's do it this way. Um, Y'all look kind of, y'all look like lopsided. 
So what's in my bag? Um, Y'all have seen this, like if you follow my personal Instagram account or you follow Blank's Instagram account, because I love this thing. You know, it is everything. This is like, if, if a purse was to have my name on it, this would be my name, okay, period. I love the size of it. I love the way it looks. Um, it's such a classic. It, it's just, I love this freaking bag. Um, so for y'all who don't know, this is the Speedy and it's in the De Damier print. I think you, it's how you say it, Dam Dam Damier. Um, but yeah, this is kind of the medium size Speedy. Um, because, and this looks, as you can see how big it is on me, I'm five, five, a hundred and like 35 pounds. And this is what it looks like with on me. So it's a pretty big bag. So I didn't want the big one and the small one is too small. This is the perfect size for me. Um, y'all can fit in this bag. So I was just like, it, it's a dope bag. Alfred got this for me. Um, not for my birthday, but it was for a, it was birthday slash uh, milestone um, that we had hit in blank. And so we had hit a huge milestone in the three years of having um, blank. And so that was kind of, you know, um, his way of saying good job, keep it up, you know, so kudos to the to the hubby. Um, so anyway, let's get into this bag because I think I'm going to switch over to my French Connection backpack, I think. And I need to clean this out, but who knows, y'all? I might, I might not. We're going to see. So anyway, um, the first thing that's in here is this um, my glasses. Your girl can't see far away. So I have these uh, Warby Parker glasses, as you can see here, uh, just black with like a gold um, bridge, nose bridge plate, if you want to call it. Um, very cute. Um, it was, I got these like a couple years ago when Warby Parker was kind of really branching out into more fashion glasses. Um, so I am looking to get some more kind of cuter glasses, but these are super duper cute. Um, you y'all have seen this on the vlog before me wearing them. Um, I probably should have them on now because I can see y'all better. But yeah, glasses get on my nerves. Like I don't like things on my face. So yeah, your girl gonna probably get contacts, but I hate like the whole idea of putting things in my eyes. So I'm, I don't know. And I don't want to do LASIK because I don't want to do surgery, but I'm a mess. I'm a mess. But this Burberry case is, is old. It's from another glass, a pair of glasses I had. Um, so the Warby Parkers fit actually perfect in them. Um, that's why it's dirty because I've had this for like 10, 15 years, y'all. The other thing that's in my bag is this Coach Fanny Pack. And... Um, I I have this in here because last night we did a Target run and during the holidays if I'm out at night I like to wear my fanny packs and so um this one is like it's a perfect size as you can see like right here so um I took it and it fits a lot y'all so in here because you know I had to transfer things very quickly and I put it in here because this was downstairs and so I was bringing everything upstairs so I put it in here anyway I don't normally carry it in there. That's what I'm saying. But it's in there now that I'm doing this video with y'all. Um, this is my wallet. It's the Coach wallet. Um, I do want to get a matching uh, Louis Vuitton wallet. Um, I haven't decided on which one I want yet. Uh, it's between one that looks like this. So if you um, go on Louis Vuitton's website, you'll see one that's like this size. And then there's, of course, the traditional kind of longer one. Um, I really like wallets like this though. So I don't know what I want. So that's why I haven't pushed the uh, trigger on it in terms of getting it. But that's definitely on my list um, when I decide on what I want. I'm leaning towards getting one that's this size though. But yeah, this is my wallet. It has all of my cards, money, and I have some business cards in here for blank. I should have them. Yeah, I do. Um, so this is our business cards for blank so I could give the people and this one is dope because I have a code on here. So if I see you out and about in these Atlanta streets, um, ask for that court girl because that's your percentage off. Okay. Um, so that's that in here. And then, um, <laughs> my keys, I got my keys in, in here. Um, the fun fact, 
with uh, this. Uh, this is uh, my alma mater. They gave us this key ring during orientation. I still have it because it's pretty sentimental. Um, this I, Snoop, when I got Snoop, if you, you guys don't know, Snoop is my um, chihuahua. He passed away two years ago from heart failure. Um, but um, that's why I kind of keep this because it's sentimental. He was like teething, y'all, and he chewed the hell out of my damn keychain for my orientation freshman year at Michigan. And so if you could look, you see it's like the color amazing. You can kind of see the M right there. Um, he chewed the hell out of it. So, but I keep it because it's sentimental to my baby. Um, so that's that. I got tons of receipts. This mask, um, another Burberry case. As you can see, this is for another pair of glasses, but I really love Burberry cases, um, glasses cases. So I recycle them. These are my favorite sunglasses. I wear them all the time. I got them from, I think, Nasty Gal. Very cheap, like 10 bucks, 8 bucks, y'all. But I love these things. You, you, you've you seen, if you look at um, Blank's Instagram, you've seen these before. Um, so people always ask me, like, where did you get your glasses? Uh, Nasty Gal says for $10. Um, I, I always, almost always have some type of USPS or FedEx or U, UPS receipt. <laughs> so... That's that. More receipts, Target receipt. I don't know, Trader Joe's, y'all. Home Depot, USPS, like always, always, always. Um, Trader Joe's. <laughs> this is gas, getting some gas. Um, this is where I keep my pens. Um, so just a pen, a pencil pen case. Um, really love this body butter. Like it's by um, what is it called? Soap and Glory. I love um, Soap and Glory in general, but this body butter is incredible. I love the way that it smells, um, and I love the way that it makes my hands feel. So I um, carry this in my bag. A earring from a shoot. The last shoot, I took these out because then we ran errands, and it's hard to keep these on for errands. Uh. This is a uh, Boss Lady by Lip Bar. Um, very love this lippy. This is my favorite red of all time. So get you get it if you don't. It's called Boss Lady for the tag. Yeah, Boss Lady. Um, here's the other earring. Watch this be a UPS receipt. Yep, UPS. I told y'all. Yeah, that's that's because of y'all packages. Okay. Um, Lysol to go, <laughs> our garage door opener, uh, VIP poo, sis, you never know. I really don't need to carry this because I don't really use public restrooms and definitely not doing no number two in nobody's public restrooms. I took this to my nine to five, but because I like, cause sometimes you just gotta do what you gotta do. TMI, the T's with the T's we're human okay um and you know you gotta keep it cute this really works but i really need to just keep it out because i'm not going into the office and i'm not doing this at nan nobody's public restroom especially with covid y'all um this is a tie pin so keep that uh love this pixie clear i think a clear is is just like necessary for a lippy um, I got, I need to show y'all what I got from Sephora. Um, we actually will go there this weekend because I got to take, um, something back to them. But I got another lippy from, um, mm. Ooh. Uh, I got another lippy that I want to show y'all. So, uh, this is from NARS. Love this pinkish red color. Um, they're in there like kind of lip crayon. And then Morphe, love this orange. It's like a the perfect like autumn orange, like very very cute, like burnt orange. This is a matcha kind of lip balm from Winky Lux. When I did some work with them, um, a partnership with an event I had with Blank and um, Winky Lux. Winky Lux sponsored some gift bags for the attendees. Um, so really love this. I love the packaging, especially. Um, and then Sephora, this pinkish uh, lip balm is really cute to kind of add some color to your lips, sis. And then this is my favorite, favorite, like, hot pink. It's from Kat Von D. Um, 
K-Dub, very, very cute. I need to get the full version of this. But yeah, I have a um, lippy from um, Rihanna Spinty. And um, yeah, this is my car registration. I need to put it in the car, actually, so we not gonna lose that. Um, and then you gotta, you got, you gotta have your protection, sis. Um, so you never know when you out up in these um, Elantra streets. Okay, when you gotta do what you gotta do, okay, so keeps keeps it on me, okay. Um, hand sanitizer because you need it. I just re really refill this up with hand sanitizer. Um, this is something when we first got the car, so we need to keep that. Old wipes. Oh, look at here, another UPS receipt, y'all. <laughs> Home Depot, Trader Joe's, Home Depot. Something with the car. Something with the car. Something with the car. And I think that's it, y'all. And so what I ended up doing is, um, well, my mom then got me this insert to put in my bag. If you have any speedy, I'm not going to take it out, but it, you can take it out. If you have any speedy, I would recommend getting the insert. You can get it from Amazon uh, only because um, with speedies, if you don't have that in there, your bag will bunt, like bulge at the bottom and it's not cute to me. I don't think that's cute. So it, you, as you can see with my bag, it just kind of, even when it had everything in it, it's flat at the bottom. So it gives it that support and shape. Um, so yeah, really love this bag. Um, the cool thing about the insert it has the pockets that if you know a Speedy does not have a lot of pockets except for that side pocket right here. So it only has that one side pocket and, oh, little cute little bag for the little lock. Um, I should probably put that somewhere else. But anyway, that's the only pocket that it has like right there. So you, this one has like tons of pockets. So you see, so it helps to organize it. So yeah, y'all, that is what's in my Louis Vuitton. Um, just a lot of junk, y'all. Come, just a lot of junk. Girlfriend got a lot of stuff. Just papers, a lot of papers, you know, a lot of papers, receipts, and, you know, things like that. So, anyway, I hope y'all enjoyed, um, this vlog slash uh, what do you want to call it? What's in my bag and my Louis Vuitton. Um, yeah, I hope y'all like this style. I don't, I, I am going to do, of course, traditional sit down content videos, but I do kind of like the vlog style, um, of it because I feel like for me personally, because I have a brand, I have blank wardrobe. I'm always having to kind of be professional, <laughs> if that makes sense. So <clears throat> being able to kind of structure my YouTube channel in a way where I can just be a little bit more laid back. So have my content videos be a little bit laid back is kind of up my alley. So let me know what y'all feel about it. Of course, what I'm going to do um, over the next couple of weeks for you guys is we're definitely going to be filming more content. I know it hasn't been at a regular cadence, but I promise, 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 promise it will. I'm working on some content from y'all, some fashion content some outfit like putting outfits together of course featuring blank wardrobe but just in general um talking about fashion trends and and things like that um so yeah we're we're gonna have all that and that's gonna be a little bit more formal but my style of formal like i said i really want this youtube channel to be where we can we see each other you know what i'm saying and, and connect because i feel like um when you have a brand when you're not a, a traditional influencer, it's kind of like I, even though I'm the CEO of Blink Wardrobe, if let me see if I can articulate this right. Even though I am the CEO of Blink Wardrobe, and of course I'm doing a lot of the content creation and I am the face of it, there's still a voice that Blink Wardrobe has outside of me. And so um, I kind of don't want this to be Blink Wardrobe 2.0. And when you come here, like, of course, you're going to get the behind the scenes and all of that of blank. But in terms of like getting the me 
this is I'm I'm me and blank is blank if that makes sense anyway I'm rambling y'all thank you so much for watching as per usual um stay tuned to the next video it may be a content video it may be a vlog just rock with me make sure you like comment and subscribe and share this with a friend family whoever you think would really love this type of content we're on a journey y'all we're um growing a company so come on this road with me rock with me uh what is this and uh yeah i'll see you next time